Hey, real quick, I'm just gonna say all praises to Yahweh. By some Yahweh Shai, by some Rakakh with Dash. Double honor to the apostles, a great millstone. That's what we learn from. The Shalom told you, Aki, my dear, teaching the truth. We are here in raggedy ass Columbus, Ohio, once again. And we just gonna go through the spirit. We'll teach this Bible. Y'all got anything you wanna get into? Oh, that, there you go right there. Oh, man. Speaking of the devil. Here you go. What you guys got to say to that? We're going to teach what we say. So what you got to say? River of living waters, my man. You know? The rivers of living water. That's what we're pushing. The animals, is, we don't have a specific. But we know we prophesying, though. You ain't gonna run off again, are you? Nah, this time I actually do have to go. What? Go uh, see? You got work. You got to go through? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take this little trick and go on and stuff. Come on. I'm going to get a discount. Yeah, nah, nah. We nah, check that shit too. Yeah, it is. He, he, he need an oil change, bro. Uh, nah, he need a, the table, I like, you, you need an oil change, you need a new transmission, a new motor, all of that. You want me to give him another Yeah, you got to get a new car. Since you ain't got no time, I'm going to do it. For real. If you want, man. I'm telling you, the truth. You better grab the truth from the people because we're going to learn it from the truth. All right, man. I mean, Christian, man. So, I ain't feeling what you guys say. I think it's interesting. I mean, honestly, I think it's interesting. Huh? I, I just think it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. The truth is very interesting. But, uh, it's the truth. You can't gainsay nor resist. But well, yeah, which I should support a Christian business. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? Hit me up. What you mean, though? Hit me up. You know what I mean? Hit me up. How old is you? Uh, I'm about to be I up. fixed my own car. Uh, well, and when you want good work, man, right? you don't want to oh, be zip ties. You want this true water. Zip ties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I use a zip tie. He's a hope not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, he was like, I'm an old man, bro. You've been fixing stuff for years. Nation of Israel. Uh, down by so Israelites. Down by him. Okay. That's down there. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's so, speak on the Bible. Yeah, let's go. 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 Let
the Mashiach. Right, right. What, the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. It's not Yeshua. It's not Yahshua. And because uh, Jesus Christ, that's an English version of uh, his Greek name. But that that's just a, a title, right? Because the word Christ is Greek, uh, Christos. That just means the anointed one. But in Hebrew, the word for Christ is what? Mashiach, which in English we say Messiah. So I'm saying so if we know in Hebrew Christ is actually Messiah, then what is Jesus actually in the Hebrew? It's Yahweh Shah. Which means Yah in Hebrew means he. And uh Shai means saves or delivers. So his name means he delivers or he saves. But if Jesus don't mean nothing in English. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. If you just say his name in English, you would say he saves. That's how you say his name in English, is he saves. There's a song that's going to cling on to that name to faith and cling on to it and hold it to the end. Okay, so get that first Corinthians 1, and, I think it's 1 and 10. Before, I read, before you read that, read this. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. you got to understand who that world is. It ain't all these people. It's just the elect of these people. You know? And this is still, that one third is still a mighty number, man. It's still, that, oh, yeah. that one third that's going to get delivered is still a mighty number, man. But within that one, there's also 144,000 men. That understand this truth. That's gonna get this truth. That's gonna actually be the ones that's gonna help bring this shit down, man. So that's what we're saying. Anybody you said you fellowship with three different sects, right? It, this ain't we don't deal with like that. You know, we don't even allow nobody in with that. You know, we got scriptures for that. That's why I told him get this. I, I think this should be it. Is it one in ten? I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, that's a perfect scripture. Perfect scripture is one in ten. Now the teens, brother. By the name of our Lord, you how shy that ye all speak the same thing. The same thing. The name that includes the name too. That there be no divisions among you. Right, no divisions. That means you believe in the flat earth or anything? <laughs> you believe in reptilian? <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? Actually, I refer back to uh, Genesis when it's a place where God Somebody bringing in falsehood, oh man, there's no telling what else they'll bring in. And that's some small things like that. Actually, it ain't a small thing, the prophets, like the RFID chip. Why do y'all mention the RFID chip? Just look, you know, what's that somebody else that's out here? I don't know, you know, time yeah, to change, yeah. going so quick, man. It's friendly to mind. Well, anyway, time of prophets. Oh, let me just get it. Time of prophets, see that? Yeah, yeah. These churches, the mother sex ain't prophesying about a game thing. Oh. That's the real. That's the real. Yeah, because you got a lot of people saying that the mark of the beast is sin. Or, but you got a lot of people that they don't teach the truth about the mark of the beast. And you ask the difference, the separation. What's the difference, you know? We say the truth. We're dealing with the truth only, man. Time of prophecy. Time of prophecy. You know? There's a lot of things they don't get right. They don't teach uh, reincarnation. Reincarnation is in the Bible. They teach you, well, if you're evil, you'll die and you burn forever in hell. That's not in the scripture. I mean, there's, there's a lot of difference. You ever seen this in the Bible? Let's get that revelation. Right, so revelation 13 and uh, six, uh, 15. He had power, looks like it, 16. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So it's all edifying me, man. Oh, yeah. He said when he called all both small and great, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Did you say in? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one right here, the RFID chip. It's going to make an insert inside your skin. That's what you got. You got uh, new news. They already got that. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to become, that's coming quick. It's going to become mandatory. Yep. Mandatory. Yeah. You know? The time's coming quick, man. Thank, thank, thank. It's almost. Thank, thank, thank you. How about Shimmy? How was shot for Trump, man? Yeah. He's helped bring it in. <laughs> he said, he said, we're going to perfect this. Yeah, yeah. Look, you're my son. How the EBT system works is all digital now, right? So some, if, if people want to get an EBT, especially like the elderly, they're gonna have to have that chip. But that, that, so these people, they're gonna be weak, and they're gonna take it. They don't want to give up in goodies, you know? Snacks. 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 Oh, okay. No time is short, bro. Too much for me. Oh, the 
Estrogen in the plastic bottles and shit. Oh, that plastic shit. Man. And plus, did you see they got the pesticides that they put in the crops that was turning? This is what everybody makes fun of Al Jones for. But they had pesticides that they put in the crops and it runs off into the groundwater and it actually made frogs change sex Damn, from a man. male to a female. Yeah, I read that too. That's crazy, man. Would you slow it? That's a fine bottle. That's the same thing how Godzilla was created. Uh, radiation. It's all these devils in there and their experiments. Radiation. And that radiation probably doing some bug out shit. You know what I'm doing. Causing mutations. Look at these mutants out here. It's like the guy that kept X. What is the mutants that they was fighting? Uh, what was the, the mutants that X-Men was fighting that lived underground? X-Men. The, uh, the, they, oh. Fuck, man. The sun started with an M, I think. You know, they was some horrible looking creature. That's these that's these people out here. Yeah, the Fantastic Four the moment, but there was another group like that with the X-Men. I forget the Marauders, not Marauders, I can't remember. 
But that's these people out here, bro. They done. They got damn mutants. That is literally what the fuck happened. What's up? They mutate before your very eyes. Really look at this mutant. Really he look like the mole man. <laughs> they really did, because they, they got a different look on Oh, I think it's the Morlocks is what they're called. <laughs> Here it is. This has a, this is the, um, the Retail Apocalypse. It says the Retail Apocalypse picks up speed. And Sears, J.C. Penney's, Hookstone, Mattress Firms are spiraling toward bankruptcy. They are already bankrupt. It's just a matter of the fucking bankers acting on it. And Amazon probably helping that too. Yeah, yeah. It says over 20 major retailers have filed for bank. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Over 20 major retailers have already filed for bankruptcy. Oh hold up, but you know, you know, Trump going after Amazon too, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. always talking shit. Yeah. He trying to fuck our shit up. <laughs> we get this good shit. They try to fuck up our shit. Well, Amazon, that's that's a little gift right there. Yeah, that's a gift, boy. Yeah. You got Amazon. They got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Amazon, is shit. Especially when you get the um, the upgraded memory. Yeah, the, uh, the prime. Yeah, there you go. I ain't got the prime. Yeah. I, I gotta get. I ain't got an extra hundred yeah. to drop on it. Yeah, it ain't cost us that much anymore. Think about a hundred. Um, we had it for years though. We had it for like you probably got it years. back when it was cheap. It was cheap. I can't remember. I need to. I, get, for I need to save up for it and get that because you get the, the it's TV. Worth it. You get the TV and everything with it. Amazon Prime TV and music. It says, since the beginning of last year, and in 2018, we may break the all-time record for annual store closings that was established just last year. We are in the midst of the worst retail apocalypse in America's history. America's history. The famine, that's that famine. Um, and it appears to be picking up speed as retail giants, such as Sears and J.C. Penney's, yeah, who even go to JC Penney's no more? Shoot. I don't know where they get some socks. Yeah. Is there even, I don't even know where they at. But they don't have nothing I'm aware of, though. Because they buy leather skinny jeans shit, man. All this weird shit, man. Cowboy jeans and shit. They do got a lot of good shit, though, but I don't buy the clothes in there. I, I ain't even heard of it. I ain't even seen one of them in years. I right. tell you, all these businesses have been going out of business slowly over the years. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Shit they don't happen over time. Right? They all before the victim was just shut down. Without a warning, so it was that. It was a university that shut down without warning motherfuckers. Right before graduation, motherfuckers Dang. randomly graduated. They fucked, they fucked out all that learning of people. Um, it was just, that was a good one. Yeah, I knew. Um, ECOT? They can't shut that ECOT down. Shut it down. Just shut it well, some Walmarts that just closed. Yeah, they've been shining a lot of Walmarts. Yeah, that just closed without a fucking warning, man. Without a fucking warning. Yeah, they just overnight sent all the employees home. They came back to work the next day. Right. Said, oh, y'all don't work here no more. Just a warning. <laughs> Shit. I see some brother put up an article too today. Uh, I was watching, I think, a GMS Great Waters 3. And he put up a video about how, I was on Zero Hedge. You know that site Zero Hedge? They had an article they put out about how the Fed is planning to crash the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna raise them interest rates. And famine. Cause the Fed been keeping this shit afloat. They been pumping all that fake money into the system. This is the Amos 5 and 16. Therefore, Yahweh, the God of hosts, the Lord said thus, said thus, uh, well, shall be in all streets. Food in a grocery store is just always gonna be there. Yeah, stupid. 
They think that shit is there all, all the time. Stupid. Shit, Stupid. Sometimes you go in there after a big storm or something, the shells be empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just think about that dollar crash. Oh, oh yeah, when they tell it, just when they tell us that storm is coming or something. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the hurricane coming. Right. Well, so we've seen examples, small examples of the stores were closed here. You know? We've seen a couple examples of that, man. Especially during the time we remember the lights went off, yeah. the golden stores and shelves were empty, man. Yeah, we had to drive all the way out. I remember that we had to drive all the way out of Grove City. For today. ice? Yeah, to get some ice. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember where we went for ice, though. I think we went somewhere far north of Delaware. I can't remember, man. I can't remember. Yeah, we had our small examples. Yep. Like but small I, examples. Yeah, that was a good time. Our power was out for what? Two weeks up there. That was beautiful time, man. That two was, weeks? Yeah, that was beautiful though. That was beautiful though. All I had was my AM radio with them batteries. <laughs> that was a good time. As long as you put a lot of fire, you could. Yeah, we got had water was still running though. Yeah, water was running. You know, so it was all good, man. And didn't that happen here too, bro? The EBT car stopped working? Oh, that happens all the time. Didn't that happen everywhere, though? I think it did. Yeah. yeah. Women being there. Y'all, yeah, I gotta feed my babies. I know one of y'all motherfuckers gonna right. feed my babies. Yeah, the hell with your babies. Oh, right, yeah. Disobedient bastard children you got. Like you said, man, they depend on this, man. They always think this shit always gonna be here. Yeah. Everybody take everything for granted out here. Right. This is a second Ezra's fit. They take their own life for granted. They wake up in the morning, just think they're going to live every day. You know? Yeah. They just know that they're going to go to work and they're going here on Monday and there on Tuesday. I'll be thinking the most I could kill me at any second. Any fucking. <laughs> I, that's why I'm, I'm always thinking about that. Man, I'm telling you, man, it's a horrible thing being in a car, man. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, when was, you see a car coming, but if they stop, but it, it, most high fucking with you because he's timing it. He time, he's showing he can, man, he can take you out. I had some crazy time. bitch almost slamming to me the other day. Yeah. <laughs> you. you know, these bitches be in a hurry, driving all fast and crazy. That's how we got hit. That's how we got hit. Yeah. It's like, most high could have made it a lot worse than what it was. I've been getting rid of my road rage. I've been staying patient and calm lately. <laughs> Like, I'm not in a hurry. I can be late. Right, you know? right, right. I'm not worried. It's not that serious. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never in a hurry. My man with the left foot, oh, though, is different. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, well, he went to, down in Cleveland, about 120. I let him drive a little bit. More than one. I let, he drove the whole distance. Man. Shit, no, last time we went, we, I did like, what, 120, though, yeah, 140. Yeah, yeah. We going so damn fast. Yeah, I ain't never liked that type of hurry. Man, we should have went to jail. Yeah, really. When you act, when you like, say the speed limit 70, when you like 100, yeah. it's like so much they gotta take you there. Yeah. It's like so much speed they Lord gotta take you there. Lord was with us. Driving a new car, I, we had a rental. We got a, I still got the rental. Oh shit, she got a wreck for real. That didn't happen? Somebody hit us inside like that. two weeks ago. That's fucked up. Somebody hit us inside like that. Oh uh, yeah, the General Motors. General Motors. Yeah. Yeah. Serious? General Motors company car, yeah. Oh, that's good. That and it didn't look like the car was really damaged a lot, but the angle they hit us, the car Probably even went up a little. Fucking you know? the frame and shit? They might have. That's what they're saying. They might have. So General yeah, Motors sending their specialists in so, to look at the car. They were supposed to do this today. Especially they were looking at it, the adjusters, they call them adjusters, coming to look at it. So it may not look like the car total, it looks like you just placed it the back door the tire, and that's it. The car, the car looks like it's going good. The mechanic here he said, man, that car fucked up. <laughs> he said, underneath that frame might be compromised, meaning, you know, like yeah. fucked up. The frame's fucked up. So I don't give a fuck, because they, the insurance got to pay it off. Pay your insurance. Huh? Pay your insurance? It ain't our insurance we got use. Uh, it's General Motors. Well, I'm saying, but you pay our insurance, right? Yeah, we got insurance, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck, I hate hey, that check it out. Insurance. All right, check it out. Check it out. Check That's it out. Right. Check it out. When they hit us, I was driving. I got it in my license. Yeah. Pulled her over. Pulled her big <laughs> ass over. Yeah. Made it look like she got it. Oh, you got lucky. Yeah, she was I'm with thinking, you. I'm thinking, oh, this is my clothes, man. But the bitch that hit us, she was like, this is scary as a motherfucker, man. Oh, shit, no lesbian bitch. Let's go with it. No lesbian bitch, man. Lesbian bitch. And when I saw that General Motors license plate, I was like, ooh. Just like, yeah, this is a company car. It ain't mine. 
I don't gotta use my own personal insurance, but this is this a company for they got my own insurance. But they in, they con they contacted us that right. very yeah. night. So they try to they general motors don't like to have open claims. They like to settle quick. Yeah. They like to settle quick. Hopefully they take care of you. Let's go with y'all. Yeah, that's talking about them, them fake Jews. Y'all know the real Jews is black, right? Hmm. Y'all know that? You know Jesus is a black man? Can you accept that? Can you accept that your Lord and Savior is a so-called black man? Could be anything. I don't know what he is. None of us know what well, he is. Well, the scripture is. says he's a so-called black man. Yeah, man. the Bible says he's black. Right, he so got you, just, you just went off and lied. He's a dark. He's a so-called black I don't care what he is. He's my, my nigga, my man, not your girl, but why don't you just stay here and learn a little bit? I'm ready. I'm ready. I know. I'll say you go. You know about this right here, Revelation 2 and 9? You, you don't know about Revelation 2 and 9? This, let, let me read it for you. It just says, that's it, the sign you put in. It says, I know thy works. Jews. Who say they Jews? That's, that's, that's the rat right. devils right here. The scripture says, and I know the blasphemy of things that say they are Jews. Those are biblical Edomites. So y'all ain't unless you want to be an Edomite, you can be an Edomite. What? It says, I know the blasphemy of things that say really they are Jews and are not. Ain't that? Jews you lose. Are not, but are the synagogue the same? Them is devils. Man. Those are devils. Those See? Fire-breathing devils. <laughs> they the ones that run this country too. Right. They own the. They run the government. They own all the banks. They run Hollywood, the music industry. Oh, they, I they that. The you can't. You can't get a record contract without selling your soul to one of them fake Jews. Yeah. Do that, like what? The Illuminati. Yeah. The Jew Illuminati. That's just one of the names. They one of them. They come up with many names. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just a popular everybody just grab hold of. Another name is U.S. Congress, yeah. Yeah. Federal Reserve. Yep, yep. Council of uh, Foreign Council, yep. Affairs. Council of Foreign Relations. Yep. All that. The Bilderbergers. Yep, the Bilderbergers. That's a Jew name right there. Yep, sure is. Ain't no but a bunch of goddamn devils, man. Devils, man. You know, a devil can't prescribe nothing good for you. Everything they got prescribed for you is going to uh, uh, put you in debt, uh, uh, have, uh, help you develop diseases. You know, or breaking the laws of the Bible or the scriptures, man. That's what the devil does. And there's well, actual scripture that says the devil will choose his brother. Yeah, I got a scripture for that. She said that they, they take your heritage away. You Is go. she right there though? You get me. Here you go. I was you gonna get some of that. Native American. I'm true love. You true? You're Native American? Yeah, I'm true. You're Native like that. <laughs> You, you're a tribe of Gad. You're a Gadite. Gadite. You're a Gadite. Twelve tribes of Israel. They, uh, they made my mom change her name. That's what the devil said. You get a birth certificate. You get a report here. You're in a hospital. She don't know this. I got a scripture for that. Look at these devils there. So they yeah. got no interest in this. Devils ain't got no interest in this. Let them pass. I got a scripture in the Bible to say that. Look, check this out. Uh, it's the Psalms 83 and uh, 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. It be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. It consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they said they're going to come and cut us off from being a nation. And so we are no longer being remembrance. And that's what they did in America with the Native American Indians. They make and you change your name. The fact that I'm soon, yeah. I'm soon, soon nation will sell their property to the government. White man government? Right. I can't get my hair. Right, right, right. You got your, um, she said ID they, they usually give. No, them. I can't get it. You can't get it? Because I'm a public citizen, they won't sell the property to the white government. You know what? It don't matter because the Lord about to destroy all that property. They yeah. can't take it out of it. They take it away from it. They can't, they can't yeah. take it out of it. There you go. There you go. They said, they, said they, they took away your heritage. That's in the scriptures. This is Micah 2 and 2. And they covet, they covet fields. And take them by violence, but you know the history where they 
Ameri uh, the Americans came to uh, good. to America and they took over the lands of the Native Americans. It says, and houses and take them away. So they oppressed a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yep. They oh, took, shit. They took my little sister's three weeks old. They took her out. The white man's soldiers came. I guess they were renegades. I don't know. Took her right out of my mama's arms and stuck on a stick. Damn! Oh, shit! Damn! Shit, you know, hey, today's Columbus Day. Oh, shit! And they out here shit. celebrate Christopher Columbus like he's a hero, you know? He came over, he didn't do the, he do nothing but murder. But it, they love Christopher Columbus. To them, that's a hero, the white man. Yeah. Oh, he discovered a damn thing. Not a damn thing. He came here and thought it was an Indian. That's why they're called as Indians. Right. I know damn Indian. Indians come from India. Right. Yeah, but don't Indian mean savage? Yeah, yeah. Indian, Indian means savage. Yeah. They called us, they call them the nation, the 12 tribes of Israel, savages. When the white, when the Edomites are the real savage. In the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson called them savages. Ooh. Fucking savages, man. Savages making us laws, controlling us, feeding us. You know, here you go. This is up. Nahum 3 and 1. Go to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. You know, calling us what we're not. Uh, uh, what they call wet? They call wet bats. Who's wet bats? What the fuck is wet bat mean? Yeah. They made mommy. They made mommy change our names and give us white people. Right. And they make y'all speak English too. Yeah, they we, force we English on. Yeah, we my brother got old. We used to get paddled just talking our native tongue to each other, to see each other. Yeah, got a beat out of them. And they said that. And they're like, uh, you need to learn American. I said, I am speaking American, bitch. You need to learn. <laughs> I said, English is not American. You need to learn. Right, right. Oh, and then I got trouble with going her bitch. I said, I just, I, the more you give me a job, the more I'll cut you out. I've heard that. I've heard that. It's a terrible event. So, so then when they suspended me, mom had to work, so she couldn't be home, you know. So I had to go out to grandma and grandpa's farm for the weekend while the time I was suspended on that shit. I just couldn't stay out here. You got a lot of grandsons here? I stayed in trouble so I could stay out on the farm. That was it. Right. You got a lot of grandsons here? I have no living thing. I have one. Oh, my oldest son left alive. That's it. Right. Where's he at? No way. No, he's south of okay. He doesn't leave, but he's working right now. Right, right, right. Right. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which Yahweh, which is the most high's name, shall sin against thee in hunger and thirst. That's not the one I wanted, but I'm going to keep reading. That sounds good, though. Yeah. And in nakedness and in one of all things, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Yahweh shall bring, this is what I wanted, Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. They came here with the English, and they, they forced that English upon us, yeah. the word tongue means different language. All right, a nation of fierce continents who shall not regard the persons of the old, nor show favor to the young. It was murdering old, young women, children, but it was very hard. They don't do that now. You can talk any language. You're not anywhere now. Right, yeah. They don't, they don't make you change the language. Right. Yeah. Because they know Funny though, they'll uh, yeah, they'll come over and get rights all these foreigners, but they still shitting on the Native Americans. Oh, the reservation I came from is the poorest place in the United States. I believe it. They they even conversions for them. They still get government rights. Where where state? The corner? South Dakota. South Dakota. Right, right, right. Pine Ridge. Look it up on your Google. I know. I've heard of Pine Ridge.
Why are you looking? I got, I got free stuff. I got a scripture for that though. This is a uh, numbers 35 and 33. Oh, what's this bus go by? Oh, loud ass bus. Uh, that's Esau. That might be a dude. Oh, we got scriptures for everything. But there is a scripture. That's what we got. We're out here for comfort for our, our people. Our people. Yeah, well, his side is for his side. Man, I like the name of that. I know. So, I mean, the Catholic Church like little boys. We, we're not Catholics. Oh, I got something for to read on the Pope right now, but go ahead. I'll, okay, I will get this, the and take I'm going to get this vengeance, the vengeance that the Lord going to bring. That retribution and payback. Numbers. Uh, 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. They came over here and they polluted this land. They don't, this land was not. Do you remember when TV was in black and white? Yeah. yeah. Remember that old commercial where that Indian chief standing there with two drop down sides? The commercial was talking about that the land being destroyed. That keeps America beautiful. Right, right. The end, that's when they saw the TV. Yeah. yeah. They're destroying yeah. his land. They, uh, that was my great great grandfather. Straight up? Oh, wow. This used to be all trees and they built all this all this trash. They pollute that. You go to the side of the river is all polluted. You, you, go, you can't take a drink out the river. You should, what side of the river? It, it's destroyed. Yeah, that's not even water. <laughs> they just found the whole land. Let me get a script. Loud ass shit. Numbers uh, 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land, uh, excuse me, the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by but by the blood of him that shed it. So, <laughs> you look that up? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it on my tab. I pulled it off. Oh, man. Good. I gotta practice on my yelling. But he's telling you the judgment of this devil by the scripture he's read. You know, the same devil that came to the and destroyed all the natives. The natives here, the Israelites here, they gonna be say, here's the Israelites that were here before they came. This man gonna face judgment for it. He never was judged for what he did. He never was. So the by Lord destroying the Indian nation and bringing the rest of the tribes over here and making them serve hardcore slavery. They gotta pay for all this. And they, when they had that survey thing out there, the uh, the children, yeah. the children in the in the black of for that pipeline. Yeah. I got an uncle who's 97 years old. He's with a like, great uncle or some shit. And there was a surveyor boy. He was, man, he was only in his 40s. My uncle. He was pretty much That's what he got coming to him. Yeah, they got all that polluting the land with all that oil. Oh. They, they mowed them motherfuckers down, too. <laughs> you see what they did to the Gulf of Mexico with that big ass oil spill? The Russians told them motherfuckers to keep on stopping. They ignored it. They like destroying the earth. Hell yeah, the Russians told them. To, I'm not sure if it was that, but when that big oil spill. They said they nuke it. Yeah, the nuke it. Put it just hit it with a little small nuke, you know? Yeah. But they, they, they're still leaking. They're yep. still leaking. But they ain't reached the news. I seen somebody still. posted some pictures like a month ago. Hey. And uh, fish was still washing up dead from that.
So Genesis 49 and 19. Gad a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Yeah, that was prophecy concerning the tribe of Gad. They got over. Because Gad means truth. Right? And you know, they were some good warriors, too. They used to, before the white man got here, they was always battling. Yeah, but when they got here, they gave the white man hell. But that's why I said a troop shall overtake them. That's why they came out there with the cavalry. What, that's what they called it, right? The cavalry. They, they had something called Manifest Destiny. They came out and just started wiping everybody out. That's that, that prophecy fulfilled in the scripture. Right, right. When the Lord came over, he told them. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the Lord did come over here in the, the Americas. They called him the healer. That's pretty popular. That's actually where actually the Lord was jacked all that bullshit they got. That's where they got it from, actually. Yep. And the war is with them. Nah. That's against the, the scriptures teaching against them. You know how everybody teaches their kids Santa Claus? Right. Yeah. And you know what that word spells out? Satan. 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 And that's why they got that Christmas tree. That that's like the uh, with the little bulbs on it. That's like the fruit from the tree of, uh, that was in the garden, the forbidden fruit. That's all satanic symbolism. And they, all these people they make their uh, children uh, celebrate Christmas. Well, they took it in the commercial. Yeah. If it was a religious holiday. This. But that's not in the you know Christmas ain't in the Bible, like the December twenty fifth. That's not in the Bible. The Lord was born in the springtime actually. He was yeah. at, he was born in, on the Passover. Well, that's like they call November holiday Thanksgiving. It's yeah. Called harvest season and it wasn't in. That's the time of the season. Yeah, the harvest Wait, season. This is the time of the harvest. Yeah, yeah that's what it's the harvest season. Hey, this is the. <laughs> So sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of the most high man. That was uh, what, Genesis 9? Uh, Genesis, uh, yeah, Genesis 9. That's right, when they got off the ark, man. Yeah, when he gave him the laws, when he got off the ark. Read that again, that's a good scripture. We don't bring that one out enough. Read That's some laws, but people try to call them the Noah child laws. The flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And sure, the good blood of your lives will I require, at the hand of every beast will I require, and at the hand of every man, of man, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of the most high may he may. Okay, that can go with the Man shall his blood be failed. Yeah. Where's, where's that battle axe? Oh, where's yeah, that Jeremiah or? Jeremiah. Or? Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rightly dividing the word of truth? Y'all, y'all can't be y'all gonna be killing people. <laughs> right, right. Y'all right. crazy. Um I can't wait till that day we get the, the hands on a on the fucking necks of our enemies. We choking the shit out of them. Squeezing their fucking, oh, okay. squeeze their fucking head till their fucking eyeballs pop out and their fucking brain explodes. The brain, the brain coming to your hands, the nails, yeah. squishing out. Oh, I'm trying to make that shit splatter. Right, 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 right. Real. Oh, let me start up a little bit. Let me start up a little bit. Oh, vocab alone, be talking shit. Oh, you guys talk evil. Somebody, like you gonna kill people? You gonna kill your enemies? That's in the scriptures. So vocab alone, no scripture. You don't know nothing. Lord is saying to himself, I'm going to bring evil upon you. So he's going to be like the Lord too. He's going to bring evil upon the nation. That's right. 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 Doesn't the New Testament say we're going to rule over the nations with a rod of iron? <laughs> so that means you're going to be with a rod of iron. That means you ain't fucking, you ain't fucking playing. You ain't fucking playing. He's not fucking around. He is not.
Quickly. You can't crack that side of, side of hell with a rod of iron. <laughs> It's a heavy, it's a fire heavy as fuck. Well. Jeremiah 51 and Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. No, so I guess Jeremiah is a false prophet then, right? Yeah, Jeremiah is a because according to Vocab Malone and all these other assholes, I don't know why I thought about Vocab. Because he always talks shit to say we evil speaking. We're always talking about how we're going to hurt people, kill people. So I guess Jeremiah is a false prophet. And he's not really a prophet at all. You know what I mean? Pretty much that's what he's saying. Right? I guess the Lord wasn't really the Lord when he said, bring my enemy before me and slay them. Ooh, let me get it. You know let me get saying? a verbatim. Was that the Lord in red letters? Oh, you're taking that out of context. <laughs> right, 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 right. That was a parable. Right. That's what I was saying. People hey, yeah, it was a parable about, about him yeah, killing his enemies. Right. People are lost, man. People Luke are fucking emotional. 19, right? And man, we fuck the women. Men, these men are emotional as all fucking hell, man. Yeah, so he's commanding us to slay him. Look. Right. Luke 19 and 27. This is red letters. This is the one y'all call Jesus. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Whew. I mean, that is a parable, though, but it's a parable talking about how he's going to actually kill his enemies. That's what the parable's about. That's right. That's right. Verse 22. I mean, what was the Lord doing when he went up in the temple and started whipping people? I guess that was a parable. Making love. That was a metaphor, that, actually. You know these people are into that modern sex and shit. Oh, shit. I don't say that. <laughs> that, they, they, they they, that up. You got people who teach that Laura was a homosexual. Yeah, they teaching all kind of madness. They probably believe that. Uh, oh, that was a... Man, we right. That's, that's a fire. I'm going to read that one again, bro. You care about the fire? Luke! It's the book of Luke, boy. What y'all know about that book of Luke? Y'all know about no book of Luke. Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So that's what the Bible said. The Lord said he's going to kill his enemies. That's right there in the Holy Scripture. It's the Holy Bible. It's that sacred book. And the Lord said he's going to kill his enemies. Precept. This uh, Zechariah 9, points at 3, 4, 12, says, Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope, even today, who are declared that oh, I I'm you. sorry, but yeah, but we prisoners of hope. That's all we got is hope out here. Without hope, you ain't got shit. This is what we'll say. This is the patience and the uh, faith. Patience of the and the faith, yeah. Patience and the faith. But yeah, the faith of the saints. We have faith, we have faith in what we're going to Because of faith, that comes hope. You know what I mean? That's right. We prisoners of the hope, bro. Without this truth, bro, you ain't got shit. I feel sorry for these old people that ain't got no truth, man. I have pity on your poor lost soul. You know what I mean? Just thinking about their lost souls, bro. I mean, could you imagine their life? I mean, with the shit they go through with no truth? I mean, how pitiful is your existence? Every day, son of son. They got a trash ass existence. Seriously. You thought our life was trash. Imagine being in their shoes. We were in their shoes. Exactly. <laughs> and we got out of their shoes. They got the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Read that again from the top. Turn. Uh, Zechariah 9 and 12. Turn ye to the stronghold, prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When it have been Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. Oh, he gonna make us a sword, so he gonna take Israel like a bow and arrow. We be like ammunition. We ammunition out here. It's like, you know, the whole nation of Israel is a magazine. Each one of us is a bullet. You know, that's a parable, you know? So we're pouring together, that's a mighty weapon. When you howl about some y'all shot, that's a mighty weapon. Because the Lord gonna bend us like that bow. The Lord gonna do that. The Lord is gonna use us as his axe. That's not even our will, you know what I mean? I still got that will too. That's not even, that's the Lord putting his, the Lord gonna put his spirit on us. Even if you ain't got that killing spirit, no, you, you, have spirit you can even be like a, a real peaceful person. But when the Lord changes us, he put his spirit on us, you gonna be 
a weapon of war. Yeah, we all peaceful. I ain't never trying to fight nobody. But that day gonna come with the local will change us. He gonna change us. Well, I can just imagine that. His angle was 22 with the seed also. Will I break in pieces, man and woman? Man and woman? Oh, we gotta kill women too. Bitches. Oh, it's bitches, hoes. Skeezers. Bum dumpsters. The list goes, the name goes on and on. They ain't gonna be able to call 911 either. Because we already, we're gonna kill them. They're gonna get killed first. <laughs> um. Oh, y'all massaging this, massaging this, this. Woman haters. Breaking pieces, man and woman. And with the feet, will I break in pieces old and young? Old and young. So, man, so a lot of elderly people got to get put to death. A lot of these little disobedient bastard children got to get put to death. The Lord is indiscriminate. What does scripture say? There's no respect to persons with the Most High. When the Most High bring that judgment, there ain't no stopping it. Everybody gonna get it. Unless you unless you've been sealed and you part of that elect, you're gonna get it. What's that scripture? Uh, it says hold on mind something else. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. Oh, Ooh, that's Nate and his niggas. And that's some passes. Nate and the Nick and Nate and the boys. Oh yeah. And his whole fraternity? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, with the police force. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captives and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, said the Lord. So Ooh. he's one of us elect. We're, we're witnesses, man. We're witnesses to all this evil shit that's going on. Why else are we coming out here crying, sighing and crying? Wait a minute, sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. Right, let me get it. You know what that's, I'm saying? That's like the book of Revelation. He's going to the avenge the blood of the prophets. Right. You know where they say that? Avenge the blood of the prophets or Revelation 12. Am I thinking about, I'm thinking about his chosen. I'm thinking of second Ezra 12. What they have done to my chosen. When they were drunken. Oh, you know, I'm going to get that after this. I was going to get that as Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's judgment coming coming down on these motherfuckers. Like some grand That's how you know this goddamn devil is going to play fucking power. We out here cursing them out. You know, the devil would lock this all up, man. They can't stop us either. You know, ain't nothing, ain't a goddamn thing they can do about this. So we got angels out here with us. That's why you yeah. see cops walk right by us. They sure. can't stop this work. They do a goddamn thing against it. So I was going to get that Ezekiel whenever you're ready okay, for go it. Okay, Ezekiel 9 and uh, 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So we are here to teach the lost sheep of Israel. Not everybody, not all nations. We are here to teach the Israelites. Just and we out here to put a mark on the people of the heads that sign that cry for all the abominations out here. Like today's Columbus Day. When they celebrating, you know, the, the rape and the murder of all the Native American Indians. Israelites. Let me keep going. And to the others he said in my hearing, go you after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay. Utterly, old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. It's talking about the, the sanctuary. So, so when the Lord gonna start that killing, he gonna go to the, his sanctuary. 
which is actually people who know they Israelites too. All these false teachers, all these fake ass uh, teachers out here, like them purple Israelites. If y'all see purple Israelites coming out here, they all liars. Their leader is a detective for the NYPD. Okay, he's a sellout. He's a devil. He's a demon. He's a Judas. And the Lord gonna put them all to death. We forgot about Comfy and the boys here. Oh, I seen Comfy's boys at Kroger the other day. Walk around looking like a ninja. Peraza. Peraza don't even do the work. Yeah, he probably in Cancun right now. Yeah, he probably in Cancun right now. All them times paid off for him. He get to go on vacation. He was a money. He said he was saying we was going off because we went traveling around the world. My bro, I can't even afford to travel down the street. How the fuck am I going to get to Mexico? That's what he's talking about, that stupid shit. That's his people that fall for that. I can't even barely afford gas. He talking about go to, we're going to go overseas and teach. How the fuck am I gonna get there? Wait a minute. When they go there, they don't teach. Just telling somebody you're an Israelite ain't they, they, that ain't the work, man. That ain't the work, man. They don't teach nothing. So if they put a video on that video might be like five minutes long. That trip, they down there for two weeks though. Oh, they'll do a video walking to the airport. It's going. That's their fucking work, man. Hey, I watched them we got next people. They's out here at Columbus. Remember they had a little setup right there. There's another group we saw in Cleveland up against the other day. Where are you? Who was that? Oh. I am Israel. Uh, I am Israel. A bunch of weirdos out yeah, there. Yeah, one of his women. They had a bitch out there working for I told you, man, these motherfuckers crazy, man. That was Comfy's boys when I told you that's they was up north. They had a bitch walking the long walk up down the line and giving orders. Right. <laughs> that was uh what's that called when they had the the, the Mammy uh what they, they call the bitch. slaves when they take that they take the big black black bitch and put her in charge? Oh, what they call that? Uh, the man, the man, the man, yeah, the man, the man. The man. That's on the Esau did. Some of the man was afraid of the man too. Not that she wants to beat the ass, but that bitch was just giving power from Esau. The man. She got a testosterone-filled woman. Bitch had the power to come get your child and deliver it to the devil, the know, devil of Lakewood, man. The man. It says. Oh, that was the point, yeah. They said, this is Job 7 Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. Yeah, we out here speaking in the anguish of our spirit. We fucked up out here, bro. All this. Right. We are oppressed. Simply put. I will not, I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain. In the bitterness of my soul. And people always like, why y'all so angry? Why you so mad? How come you're not mad? That's the question. Yes. It's like, if, if you're not mad, there's something wrong with you. What, what tribe do you guys, I mean, what, who do you guys represent? Christ? No, we represent your house. Uh, we, we represent your house. We represent your house. We represent your house. The Lord and the Son. The Heavenly Father and the Son. Oh, uh, okay. Jesus Christ? Well, his name ain't Jesus, though. Uh, right. He's that's a Hebrew Israelite. That's given to the world so they can continue going off and not knowing the truth. Here you go. Let me read something for you. Let me read something for you. Don't run off yet. I'm not gonna, I don't do that. That's think it's bad. Right. Just, somebody, if you were somebody telling me, brother, I do missionary work, right? Yeah. For, for the holy people, right? Now, behind this bridge, down here, right? And the homeless man was underneath the, uh, the bridge, living there, right? And we dropped him by y'all, right? So he's sitting down, right? So he started talking kind of disrespectful to me. Oh, guess what I did? I turned my back towards him right there and walked away. You know what he told me, brothers? He said, don't ever turn your back on me like that. He said, he said come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, come to the Lord and turn his back on you. They started, actually, the Lord turns back on all kind of people. I got scripture for that. Here you go. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven? Or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in his garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? It says, what is his name and what is his son's name if thou her? Uh, I was talking the Heavenly Father's name. The Heavenly Father's name is uh, the Heavenly Father. Right, that's not Lord. Right, but that's the title. Oh, okay. Yeah, title. He has an actual name. Okay. I was talking about Jesus. Right, well, that's what the devil does. He got all people going off not knowing the truth. Okay? So the Heavenly Father's name is your house. 
This thing was a hell of a shoot. You, you gotta, gotta cling on to it, man. You gotta cling on to it when you hear it, man. You gotta. Is this gonna be? That's the. That's the key. That's the. That's the key. That's the name. That's gonna be our safety. You know. Hey, that's gonna be like a shield. The scriptures say, "Whoever call upon the name yeah. of the Lord shall be saved." Yes. So that name is real important. That name is the key. Oh, you should take that. That's, that's out of context. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that passcode. You can't get on a computer without the password. Right, right. You know, you gotta have that password. Right, right. Like when we pray, the way Hebrew Israelite. So we know we in Hebrew Israelites, the Lord, the one they call Jesus, Yahweh Shai, he's a Hebrew Israelite. That means he spoke Hebrew. I mean, the Old Testament, the, the original language of the Old Testament is Hebrew. Even originally, the New Testament was also in Hebrew. You know what I mean? So we got to learn that Hebrew. We got to learn the name of the right. Lord in Hebrew. Check it out. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it. And actually, if we go on, actually in Hebrew, what it said, the Lord, the word Lord is not actually in the Hebrew. Every time you see the word Lord in all capital letters in an uh, English Bible, when you look it up in Hebrew, it says Yahweh. So actually, that scripture really says the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. That's what it actually says. So, what is the difference, real quick? What is the difference between what, what is the difference between what you yeah, just said, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and in the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father, they are the same, ain't they? Well, you got you got Yahweh was the heavenly Father, and He sent His Son to teach us and to, to forgive us of our sins. His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. A lot of the churches that teach the. Uh, Yahweh Shai is the Father, but the, the, the Son is not the Father. The scriptures make, like when he was on the cross getting crucified, he cried out to the Most High. Right. He said, God, God, why have you, why have you forsaken? He right. wants to talk him to himself. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. So a lot of people get that twisted up. That's right. Oh, that's a very good point. That's very the good difference point. between us. That's mm -hmm. a very good point. Truth. We got the truth from us. Everybody else teaches for us. Huh? That's, that's these are the last days. The prophets were sent out by the Lord. The, 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 there you go. Right. Make it straight the path right. before the coming of the day of the Lord. Right. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal. Got a seal. This seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of the Lord of the Lord depart from it. And what, what scripture was that? 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Okay. So the, the really, yeah, the name of the Lord is important. You know what I mean? Like he raised a strong tower. Right. He just righteous running into it. So if I was you right now, he just like, ran right into it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right now, you be, should be writing it down, the name, and just study on it. Well, I will. I will. Um, I will have you. You think about the bonds, the sponsor, the Oh, the bonds. The what? He didn't do something at it. What was that? That's a Catholic um, doctrine. Oh. No, that's the um, that's um, that's that's that's, that's Catholic. Oh, yeah. Let me give a research on that. Because uh, the Catholic is going to tell you the, uh, the Trinity. They teach the Trinity. That's so not, you that's, said, you're saying that the uh, divine sponsorship of Bible Dictionary was written by the Catholics? What did you say? Well, I, you I you don't said know. Divine Bible Dictionary. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not sure I have to see exactly what you're talking about. Look it up. Well, I saw it's called divine sponsorship. Because there, there are a lot of dictionaries. There's a lot of dictionaries out there, you know. Just, 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 just for the King James Version. Oh, okay. Just, just, just. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of them out there, you know. Right. But this is the Vines Expository Bible Dictionary, and then you got the Strong. Yeah, the Strong. We use the Strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Strong. The Strong is the Concordance. Yeah, they give yeah. you the original. Like, that's what we. That's right. a good tool right there. Right, the Strong. That's yeah. that's one of the best resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, strong. So we in the Strongs every day looking stuff up. Yeah, Strongs is real good. Yeah. Uh, right, when you look up the Lord's name, it's going to give you, in Hebrew, Y-H-W-H. -H, and that's pronounced Yahweh. You know what I mean? Like in the Old Testament, every time you see the word Lord in all capital letters, in all caps, in Hebrew, it's Y-H-W-H, -H, Yahweh. You know what I mean? Which means He exists. He is. That's what the Lord's name means, that He's everything. So in, in a nutshell, check this out. Would you guys believe, I mean, would you, would, would you, would the, would, would the high, right? What's that? What's that name you use? Yahweh. 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 Well, what Yahweh is teaching you guys to teach, right? And what, and what I receive, okay, is that 
really, really, we all we will agree to this as brothers, right? We can agree to this. You can't live in your top way and go to heaven, right? Can we agree to that? Well, first, you gotta know what heaven is. But I'm just saying, heaven, I'm just saying, can we agree to that? Kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah. Can we agree to that? Can we agree that we can't, we can't, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll check this out. Where I'm going, you gotta listen to this. Yeah, because we about to take, because heaven, because that's another thing the church is to teach. They say when you die, you either go to a magical place called heaven or a magical place called hell, right? That, heaven and hell is really on earth. When we all die, we all go to the same place, whether you're good or evil. We all return to the Father. Every last man on earth, we return to the Heavenly Father. We all born the same way, we all die the same. Now, heaven, we, we pray that we will make it to, to the kingdom of heaven soon, which is gonna be on earth. The book of Revelation speaks of uh, the kingdom of heaven. It's called the New Jerusalem. Right. A holy Jerusalem. Right, it's gonna come down. It's gonna right. come out right. on earth. That's gonna be on earth. There's right. gonna be 12 gates. With the names of the children of Israel written right. on the gates. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So that's the kingdom of heaven. Right now, but this is hell. Right. We're living in hell right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like when you die, you don't go to some magical pearly gates. But you go, you the scriptures say you sleep. You sleep with your father. Right. And you go back to the father and you rest. Right. So death is a period of rest. Right. Until you come back again to your next life. Right. Saul. Yeah, she was wrestling. Right. Yeah. He went to summon the spirit of Samuel. And remember when Samuel walks up, he was upset. He, you know, he was pissed off with Saul. Uh, this is found Wake him up. That's uh, first Samuel. Is that first Samuel? I think first Samuel. Yeah, right. second, second Samuel. Samuel. I can yeah. hear in a minute, but this is Ecclesiastes 12. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. So you ain't dying. That's, that, that life is it, and you ain't never going to exist ever again. You know what I mean? That's a period of rest. Right, that's right. You know a period of sleep. That's that's right. Sleep. You know, sleep. You know what? I think, I think Job goes to two and two. Okay, he said, uh, it was Job said, he said, when my mother, uh, when did I live? Is that what you're talking about? When did I live? When did I die? Hey, the scripture said in Matthew 22, he said, I'm the God of the living and not the dead. Right. You know? Right. You look at the plants and the trees and everything. They die every year, but they come back in the spring. Right. They die, but they keep coming back. Well, we're the same way. 57, Isaiah 57, 1. The righteous perish, and no man layeth his heart.